All right, so today we will be sending email using our Gmail account using PHP and this is the form web form that will be visible so the user will input his name email phone number to the file from here and set a priority message and then hit send so whenever the send button is clicked uh, we will be sending emails using our gmail to a receiver let's say a feedback receiver or whatever to that user we will be sending emails using our gmail account so let's get started all right now first of all let's create a form here right let's create a form now by the way I have our ZAMP I have my ZAMP running so we'll be using localhost to run this so let's create a form and set the action to this is the uh, PHP file name that we'll be creating and the method is post alright you can uh, I'll speed the video up so you can just see the output right, so let's see the name let's type input type is text and the name is how we'll be receiving this in the PHP backend alright so similar to this we'll be creating other fields Alright, so we have our PHP form ready. So let's go ahead and check this out. I'll reload this. And as you can see, we have our PHP form ready. And this button says submit query. Alright. So <clears throat> now we have a form ready so we can write anything here we want. Uh, the tester, uh, Batman at the rate gmail.com phone number here and we can choose a file all right let's say this thing itself and the priority is let's say medium and the message is hello check this out all right and when the user hits submit query what will happen our php file will be called that is mailman.php all right and the method will be post so right now our mailman.php is empty so nothing will happen see this is empty now let's go ahead and do some PHP stuff alright so now this is in the same directory this is the index.html this is the form that we created and this mailman.php empty file is also here so if you don't have this go ahead and create this mailman.php but but for this what we are using is we are using PHP mailer right so that is a library so if you don't have this you'll have to install it using composer now I've already done this in a previous video in this one the only difference is we'll be sending this with an attach attachment so if you have if you don't have that already if you want to know how you can install PHP Lab Miller using composer go ahead and check that out you can see the link in the description or in the screen somewhere around the top corner all right so let's go ahead now first of all okay so I already have that installed so that's why we can see this vendor folder all right so let's go ahead and use the PHP mailer library right PHP mailer slash PHP mailer slash PHP mailer three times all right so first of all this is what we'll be using and then we also have exception from the same library all right then we'll require vendor slash autoload php this autoload.php will load our libraries all right and then let's create a mail now this is pretty much the same as our previous video that we did 
I'll have the link to that in below. The only thing is, as I said, the attachment. All right, and the web form. All right. So what we'll do? We'll go and we'll say mail and set SMTP debug to 10 because we want to see what's happening in case our mail doesn't send or mail is failed all right and then we said there is SMTP we call this function because this is SMTP and set let's copy this because I have been doing this a lot of times and we said this mailer as SMTP then we set host for using Gmail the host is host.gmail.com if you're using something else like Zoho or Yandex they have their own hosts and mail.smttp auth should be set true and then set your username this is the email from which you want to send the email let's say email is mail the code city at the rate gmail.com and then you set mail dot password password is my I'll <laughs> password all right and then you say smtp secure set this to tls and finally set the smtp port for gmail the port is 587 for most other services also the port is 587 all right <clears throat> now finally what we need to do we need to set this from address and all that stuff here set from so we set since this is from the mail the code city of here itself and what we can do is here we can receive the name that was sent from here right we'll receive this name and we'll be using that thing as name so for that we can just go post and name because we were sending this name in this name field alright so we receive the name and uh, will set the email will be this and the name will be displaying as the user that, that had sent this feedback all right again we go mail dot set addresses and this is the receiver email that will be receiving our email so let's say feedback receiver at the rate gmail dot com so the, uh, whoever checks our feedbacks that will be receiving that email will be receiving the email all right now finally adding the attachment so what we do is we check if the user has uploaded an attachment right where is the attachment this file it will be received in this field attachment all right so we check if attachment is received so what do we do we use php's array key exists function to check if we have received an attachment have we received an attachment in which array in the files array all right so we check if this is available if we have received this all right okay so once we check this if this is true what do we do we just do something like image name equals to what is our file name it's received in variable attachment and as we uh, will get the file name using the name all right and then we upload this to our server
using temp name function we provide this the directory directory will be our current directory sys get temp directory and then we will just create a random name using hash now these are just some good practices common practices that we do you may not use this because but if you don't use this and some other user uploads a file with the same name then you can have issues so that's why I'm just using this prefix right files and then we use the actual file name after adding this hash okay so once we have this <coughs> Now we make sure to which directory this is uploaded. Upload file server document. So this is the root directory of our project, right? So what we do is to this we attach, we append an images folder, right? So in our document root, we'll have an images folder and there we'll have this image name. Okay guys, alright now, just a moment, I, uh, we are not going to do any uploading so we can just comment this, my bad, you know, I just thought of that now. So what do we do? we move this file to our where do we move this move uploaded file to our upload file directory no this is the file name so we just say Where is the file? Okay, I messed up again. So you actually need this. I haven't just done this in a long time, so <laughs> I'm figuring things out as I'm going on. So what do we do is we we'll, you try to move the upload file and the file name is dollar file attachment and the temp name and set the destination to our upload file destination this destination all right now <clears throat> once this is done we finally get to the good stuff and we said we do add attachment all right we add attachment to our mail and our attachment is upload file and we just give this a name as a and we say this my attachment all right so So now we have our receiver ready, our form ready, our file ready. What do we do? We just add a subject and add the body and we just hit send. So in our subject, let's say feedback from and add the email from which we receive the feedback like from email, this email, right? This email. So this is this will be sent in the field email. So what we do, we go post and we receive email here. So we have a feedback from this email that is the subject. Now let's set the body. Body will be set as uh, what was written, what was written in the this thing text area and it's 
text area's name was message so this is the message and here first we can append the name also right let's say yeah that is just the message now if you notice we have not actually used this phone number anywhere so you can just append this or use it any way you want All right so now we have our subject we have our body what do we need to do we just need to hit send that is all that's all the good stuff now and here we echo success fully sent and and if we have an error what do we do how do you catch exception in php try catch exception dollar e what do we do we just echo our dollar e so we can see what's the issue all right now so once we have our things ready you can go to your browser re okay no go back reload this form and you can write hey and name is batman because i'm batman you don't know me email is let's see shall at the rate no batman at the red gmail.com phone is whatever you want to put here let's just add a file here let's add this pdf itself priorities let's say hi because otherwise why would batman send an email the message is hey i'm batman now let's hit submit query and as you can see here okay as you can see here we have an error unexpected variable in line 20 so we need to initialize this mail thing if we go here and check out our mail line number 20 what okay i forgot this semicolon because we don't have semicolons in python so i get confused sometimes and i miss stuff all right so if we go back again and hit submit query again now unsupported string uh, operand type string line number 14 so what am i doing in line number 14 okay this is equals to all right now let's hit submit query again and hopefully this time batman will not be wrong but it is he is wrong on line number 20 again set address undefined method set address so what is the method if it is not set address mm, what is it it's not set address I think it's add address all right so Batman has been wrong four times already okay so finally <coughs> we have some error no such host is known okay what is wrong with my host it's, it's not host it's smtp it's very bad let's try again resend and finally it's taking some time to load and we have our things ready but again as you can see here this is an error timeout error the error is Username and password not accepted. Learn more here. That kind of stuff. All right. So if I put my real password here, then this email will be successfully sent. So good luck. If you have any issues, let me know. Peace out.